English Speaking Course. Hello everyone! Welcome to English Speaking Course. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations. Each conversation will give you some lessons to improve your listening and speaking skills. Remember, you can watch the video many times to practice your English. Now, let's get started. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm okay. You new here? Hi, I'm Emily. I just moved here. What's your name? Hi, Emily. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jack. I am sorry. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you live around here? Yes, I live just down the street. And you? I just moved into the apartment nearby. How are you finding the neighborhood? It's lovely, but I haven't met many people yet. Well, you've met me. Do you like coffee? There's a great cafe nearby. Yes, I love coffee. That sounds great. Awesome. Let's go tomorrow morning. It's a plan. See you tomorrow, Jack. See you, Emily, and welcome to the neighborhood. Where are you from? Grandma, do you need me to help you cross the street? Yes, thank you very much. I'm Helen. I haven't seen you around before. Where are you from? I'm Lisa. I'm from Canada. Just moved here last week. Oh, Canada. That's interesting. What's it like over there? It's quite different from here. We have vast landscapes from mountains to lakes. And it's colder, of course. Sounds beautiful. I've heard Canadian food is great, too. What's your favorite Canadian dish? I love poutine. It's fries with cheese and gravy. You should try it sometime. That sounds delicious. So, what brings you to our town? I'm here for a new job opportunity. I'm an architect. Oh, my bus is coming. I have to go. Thank you again. You're welcome. What do you do for a living? Hi, I'm Jack. I'm a bit nervous about this blind date, aren't you? Hi, Jack. I'm Sarah. Yes, a little. Shall we order something first? Good idea. How about some coffee to start? What's your favorite cuisine, Sarah? Coffee sounds great. I love Italian food, especially pasta. How about you? Oh, I'm a big fan of Japanese food. Sushi and ramen are my go-to dishes. Interesting. Do you also enjoy cooking? I do. I try to cook at home when I can. It's relaxing. So, Sarah, what are your hobbies? I love painting and hiking on the weekends. I find nature inspiring. And you, Jack? I'm into photography and playing guitar. Keeps me relaxed. What do you do for a living, Sarah? I'm a teacher at a nearby school. And what about you? I work as a graphic designer, mostly for startups. It's quite creative. Do you like art? Yes, I do. Art is a passion of mine. It's fascinating to hear about your design work. Thanks, Sarah. Maybe I can show you some of my work sometime. Do you have any siblings? I've heard you have a big family, Emma. Yes, that's true. I have three siblings. Wow, that must be fun. I have just one older brother. Tell me about your siblings. Well, my older sister is a lawyer, 
And my older brother is still in college. I also have a younger brother in elementary school. That's quite a mix. My older brother is a musician. He loves playing the guitar. Music is relaxing. Our family is very into sports. My sister plays basketball, and my little brother is into soccer. Sounds like you all have your own interests. We sometimes have family game nights. Always fun and competitive. Do your parents have any hobbies? Yes. My dad loves gardening, and my mom is really into painting. Family time is always special for us. That's wonderful to hear. My parents are big readers. They've got a huge library at home. What's your favorite color? Hey, Lily. This shop has some beautiful dresses. Let's take a look. Sounds great, Emma. I need a new dress for my sister's birthday party. What kind of dress are you thinking about? Something elegant or more casual? I'm not sure. Maybe something bright and cheerful. What about you? I'm looking for something comfortable. Oh, look at that red dress over there. It's lovely. Red is nice, but I'm not sure if it's my color. I usually prefer cooler tones. That makes sense. But what's your favorite color for dresses? I love blue. It reminds me of the sky on a clear day. How about you, Emma? I'm all about green. It's refreshing, like nature. Oh, there's a green dress right there. That's a beautiful shade of green. Let's try these dresses on. I hope they fit us well. Yes, let's do it. What do you like to do in your free time? It's been ages since I had a day off like this. Work has been so hectic. I know what you mean, Emily. It's important to take a break. So, what do you like to do in your free time? Honestly, I haven't thought about it in so long. I guess I used to enjoy painting and hiking. How about you, Mia? I love reading and sometimes yoga. It helps me unwind. This trip is perfect for catching up on some reading. You know, I brought my sketchbook along. Maybe I'll get back in the painting during this trip. That sounds wonderful, Emily. It's great to reconnect with old hobbies. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. And maybe I'll try some yoga with you, too. I'd love that. What is your phone number? Hello, Bright Home Decor. This is Mike speaking. How can I assist you today? Hi, Mike. I'm Sarah. I called yesterday about ordering some curtains. I need to confirm my delivery address and give you my phone number. Of course, Sarah. Let me pull up your order. Okay. Could you please repeat your address and phone number for me? Sure. It's 452 Pine Street, apartment 21. And my phone number is 555-762-8394. Got it. That's 452 Pine Street, apartment 21. And 555-762-8934. Right. Oh, no, it's 8394 at the end, not 8934. My apologies, Sarah. I've corrected it now. 555-762-8394. We'll ensure your package arrives at 452 Pine Street, apartment 21. That's all for now, Mike. Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Sarah. Your curtains will be on their way soon. Have a great day. Are you married? Hi there, I'm Jake. First time flying to New York? Yes, it is. I'm Mia. Excited, but a bit nervous. Don't worry, you'll love it. 
So what's the occasion? Vacation or work? A bit of both, actually. I'm attending a meeting, then exploring the city. And you? I'm visiting family. Hey, if you need any recommendations for places to visit, just ask. By the way, are you traveling with your family? Are you married? Oh, no, I'm not married. Traveling solo this time. Thanks for offering help. No problem. If you're solo, you have the freedom to explore your own peace. It can be quite an adventure. Exactly. I'm looking forward to it. How do you get to work? Hey, Sophia. Have you filled out the company's survey yet? They're asking about our commuting habits. Oh, the survey. I almost forgot. What kind of questions are they asking? Mostly about how we get to work. For example, what type of vehicle we use. How do you get to work, Sophia? I take the bus. It's convenient and I can read during the ride. What about you? I cycle most days. It's great exercise and I avoid traffic jams. I've been thinking about cycling too. Maybe this survey will encourage more of us to consider it. Definitely. It's good to see the company taking an interest in our commuting choices. I'll fill it out right away. Maybe we'll see some positive changes around here. What's your favorite food? I'm trying to decide what to cook for the party. What's your favorite food? That's a tough one, Alice. I love so many dishes. But if I have to choose, I'd say pizza. You can't go wrong with pizza. Pizza is great. Any specific toppings you like? I'm all about the classic. Pepperoni and cheese. Simple but delicious. Got it. I'll make sure to have a pepperoni pizza at the party. What about desserts? Desserts. I have a sweet tooth for chocolate cake. Chocolate cake and pizza it is. This party is going to be delicious. Thanks for the suggestion, Sam. Looking forward to it, Alice. Let me know if you need help with anything. Can you speak English? Excuse me, can you speak English? Yes, I can. I'm trying to find the Central Library. The Central Library. It's not far from here. Oh, fantastic. Could you show me the way? Sure. You'll want to go straight down this street, then take the second left. Is it close to any landmarks or something I can easily spot? Yes, it's right next to the city park. You can't miss it. There's a big fountain in front. Great. Thank you so much for your help. No problem at all. Enjoy your visit to the library. What are you going to do tomorrow? Hey, Billy. What are you going to do tomorrow? I'm planning to join a dance class. I've never danced before, so it should be interesting. A dance class? That's unexpected. You dancing? Yep, I figured, why not? Life's too short not to try new things, right? Plus, how hard can it be? Wow, girl, you surprised me. So, where's this class? It's at the community center downtown. They say it's beginner-friendly. Wish me luck. Good luck, Billy. You'll need it. And, hey, if you survive, tell me all about it. Will do. And who knows, maybe I'll find my hidden talent. See you, Anna. Can I try it on? Hey. Check out this jacket. It looks like something out of a movie. 
Can I try it on? Sure. It looks like it was made for you. Try it on. How do I look? Does it fit me well? Wow. You look like a star. It fits you perfectly. You're definitely buying it, right? I think I have to. It feels great, and I love the style. How much is it? Let's check the tag. Oh, it's a bit pricey. But you can't put a price on looking this good. True. Plus, I can wear it on special occasions. Okay, let's not waste another minute. Have you traveled to any other countries? How was your trip to Italy last month, Mia? It was a dream come true. The Colosseum, the pizza, just everything was breathtaking. I've always wanted to go there. What was your favorite part? Hard to choose. But visiting Venice was like stepping into a painting. So beautiful. Venice sounds magical. Did you go on a gondola ride? Yes, and it was as romantic as they say. But, Kylie, have you traveled to any other countries? I visited Spain last summer. The vibrant culture and the beaches were unforgettable. We should share photos. I'd love to see Spain through your eyes. Great idea, Mia. What time is it? Honey, what time is it? Oh no, it's already 8.30. We're going to be late for work. Quick, get ready. I can't believe we overslept. I'll make breakfast to go. Can you feed the cat? Done. Let's skip coffee today. We don't have time. Okay, grabbing our bags. Let's go or we'll be really in trouble. I'll drive. You check if we've got everything. We can't afford any more delays. Right, got it all. I hope the traffic isn't bad. Never ignore the alarm again. How was your day? Hey, Emma, how was your day? Oh, Tom, it was hectic. Meeting after meeting. But I managed to finish that big project. How about you? Mine was quite the opposite. It was unusually calm, so I caught up on some reading. I needed that break. That sounds nice. I wish I could have a day like that. Oh, and guess what? I bumped into Sarah from HR. She mentioned a team-building trip next month. Really? That's exciting. I hope it's somewhere fun. We could all use a little adventure. Absolutely. What are you doing this weekend? Hey, Sarah. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I was planning to catch up on some reading. How about you? I thought of going hiking. It's been a while since I've been outdoors. Hiking? That sounds fun. Where are you planning to go? There's this new trail I heard about near Lakeview. It's supposed to be beautiful this time of year. Wait, Lakeview? I've always wanted to go there. Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. It'd be great to have company. We can make a day out of it. Awesome. I'll bring some snacks and water. Oh, and my camera, too. I've heard the views are incredible. Perfect. Let's meet at 8 a.m. It gives us the whole day ahead of us. <laughs> Can you help me with this? Excuse me, I'm in a bit of a hurry and my phone just died. Can you help me with this? I need to send an important message to my friend to let her know I'm okay, but running late. 
Sure, no problem. Use my phone. What's the message and her number? Thank you so much. Please just text her. It's Emma here. Running late but safe. We'll be there in 20 minutes. Sorry for any inconvenience. And her number is 555-0102. Done. Anything else I can help with? No, that's everything. You've been a great help. Thank you. No problem at all. Take care. How's the weather today? Hey, Anna, how's the weather looking today? I heard it might rain. Actually, it's the complete opposite. The sun is out and it looks like it'll be clear all day. That's fantastic. I was dreading a day stuck indoors. What do you say to a beach day then? I'm in. Let me grab my sunscreen. Meet you in 20? Perfect. I'll pack some snacks and drinks. Can you believe this? It was sunny when we left, and now it's starting to rain. Can't trust the weather forecast. Let's find a restaurant. Only delicious food can save this trip. What are your hobbies? Lily, do you have any hobbies? Yes, I love reading and painting. How about you? I like playing soccer and video games. Ever tried either? I play video games too. But soccer, not so much. Cool. We should play together sometime. What's your favorite game? I love space adventure. It's so fun. And I can show you my paintings too. That sounds awesome. I'd love to see your art. Maybe you can help me get better at painting. Sure, I'd be happy to. And you can teach me some soccer tricks. It's a deal. It's going to be so much fun learning from each other. What are you doing this weekend? Hey, what's up? Any plans for the weekend? Not much. Just relaxing. How about you? Same here. Maybe catch a movie or something. Thinking of watching a comedy. Nice. Comedies are the best. Which one are you considering? Probably something light and funny. What about you? Maybe I will go shopping because I need some new clothes. And after that, I might just stay home and read a book. What book are you reading? I just started a mystery now. Well, whatever you do, enjoy your weekend. Can you help me with this? Hi, how can I help you? I'm trying to fix this computer issue, but I'm a bit lost. Can you help me with this? No problem. Let me take a look. What's the issue? It's not connecting to the internet, and I have no idea why. Hmm. Let's check the settings. Have you tried restarting the router? Oh, I didn't think of that. Can you do it for me now? Yes. While I do that, I'll also see if there's anything else causing the problem. Thanks a lot. No problem at all. I'm here to help you. What time is it? Hey, do you know what time it is? I forgot my watch. Sure, let me check. Oh, it's 9.45 already. Oh no, I'm running late for my class at 10. Uh-oh, don't panic, James. Maybe you can still make it if you hurry. I'll never make it on time. The classroom is on the other side of the campus. I'll have to run, but I hope I won't be too out of breath when I arrive. Do you want me to come with you? Maybe I can take you to class by motorbike. That'd be great. No worries. Let's go, Speedy.
How's the weather today? Jack, how's the weather today? Any chance of rain? Let me check the weather forecast. Hmm, there might be showers later. But, you know, these forecasts aren't always accurate. Yeah, I agree. They often get it wrong. How about we go for a picnic anyway? Great. We can always find shelter if it starts raining. Look at those dark clouds. I think it might rain sooner than we expected. Don't worry, Jack. Believe me, I think it may not rain. It's getting windier. Just relax, Jack. We'll be fine. If it starts raining heavily, we can quickly pack up and head home. Uh Oh, it's raining. We better gather everything and go home. Quick, let's pack up and run to the car. Do you speak any other languages? Do you speak any other languages? Not really, just English. How about you? Yeah, I speak a bit of Chinese. That's interesting. Why did you choose to learn Chinese? Well, I thought it would be cool to explore a language with a different location. And Chinese has such a rich culture. How's the learning process going? It's challenging but fun. Any particular reason you picked Chinese over other languages? Honestly, I was drawn to the sound of the language, and I've always wanted to visit China. Yeah, well, I hope your dreams come true. Thank you. Where do you live? Hi, can I sit here? Yes, of course. Where do you live? I live in an apartment in the city center. How about you? I live in the suburbs, in a house. It's quieter there. How's your neighborhood? It's friendly. We know our neighbors, and there's a park nearby. Do you like living in the suburbs? Yeah, it's peaceful, and I have more space. How about your apartment? It's convenient, close to work and shops, but sometimes it gets a bit noisy. I can imagine. How long have you lived there? I moved in about a year ago. How about you? I've been in the suburbs for a couple years now. It feels like home. Do you have any pets? Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a cat, but things have been a bit stressful lately. Oh no, what happened? Well, my cat, Whiskers, has been acting strange and not eating much. I'm worried something might be wrong. Have you taken her to the vet? Yeah, I did. They couldn't find anything specific, but she's still not herself. I'm sorry to hear that. I just want her to be okay. I hope she recovers quickly. Thanks. Me too. I hope she gets better soon. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Do you prefer coffee or tea? Oh, I'm definitely a tea person. How about you? I'm more of a coffee fan. It wakes me up in the morning. Do you take your coffee black or with milk? I like it with a little bit of milk. How do you enjoy your tea? I usually have it plain or with a touch of honey. Do you drink coffee sometimes? Occasionally, especially when I need to relax in the evening. Maybe we should grab a coffee or tea together this weekend. Yes, let's do it. What's your favorite restaurant? Have you thought about our birthdays coming up? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about it. How time flies. So, any plans for your birthday this year? I was thinking of doing something private, maybe a nice dinner. A cozy dinner sounds perfect. By the way, 
What's your favorite restaurant? I really enjoy the Italian restaurant near my place. The pasta is amazing. Perfect. We can pick a place that you like. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Have you seen any good movies recently? Have you seen any good movies recently? Yeah, watched one last Sunday. Didn't like it much. Oh, what went wrong? The story was weak and the ending was confusing. That's too bad. What was it about? I thought it would be a funny love story, but the jokes weren't funny and the love part was missing. Were you expecting it to be good? Yes, reviews were good, but it wasn't my thing. Next time, let's pick Stranger Things. This film has good reviews on TikTok. Sound good? Great idea. Maybe we can find something much better. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.